Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with my dude. And we are back for another video, another Roku video that features a couple of things that have been rolled out in the last couple of months. And uh, I'm excited about it. Uh, one of the comments that I got was that this is uh, now possible. One of the things is adding favorites to your Roku Live channel lineup. And then the other one is the Roku Live TV Zone. So we'll get into all those things. And this dude is gonna be here for moral support. Say hi dudes, you feel good. Okay, let's go rest. I wanted to give a shout out to the user who commented on this feature, uh, the favorites on the live Roku channel guide. His name is Matt and just wanna say, hey, thanks for letting us know. I think this is a feature that lots of people wanna use, especially for the cord cutters out there you know, don't necessarily have their all their channels that they want. And uh, usually a regular TV lets you favorite, you know, your favorite channels, you know, but when you're watching the live TV on Roku, there's literally different channels that come up. Then there's music channels. And so you want to be able to filter those things out. And this feature lets you do just that. Uh, I'm pretty surprised it wasn't on the Roku blog, which I will keep an eye on. And anytime they come out with new features, I'll make a video about it, but I just didn't see it on there. So uh, again, thanks for letting us know that this feature is live. Um, let's get into it. Okay, so the first feature that we're gonna get into here on the Roku is going to be the live TV zone. And to get there, just scroll down a little bit, go to live TV, I think it's two. And this is the live TV zone, as you can see right up top. Roku says on their blog, the live TV zone offers easy access to our favorite, to our live channel TV guide. The live TV zone offers easy access to our live TV channel guide powered by the Roku channel and cable or alternatives, including Hulu, Fubo TV, Philo, Sling, YouTube TV, to name a few. They say to visit the recently watched content and discover the latest in local and national news and sports, movies, and more. You can go read all about it there. It says turn on your Roku device on the left-hand navigation menu, scroll down to live TV or search and enjoy watching your favorite live content. And this was added just a couple of weeks ago. Roku did a blog post about it and they are adding a centralized place for all of your apps to show out their live capabilities. So obviously we have the live TV channel guide here, which will bring you into your classic cord cutter type TV uh, grid. But you also have, these are kind of channels that I've been watching uh, on the channel guide. These are all channels that you can see on this live channel guide. But also if you scroll down, it'll show you recently watched. It'll also give you cable alternatives, which is another great thing about the live TV zone is this will show you all the different channels where you can get live streaming television, YouTube TV, Hulu live sling has two different orange and blue. You know, all the friendly live TV gives you Hallmark, history, lifetime, inspiration. And then uh, if you haven't made that jump from cutting the cord, which my wife and I have done this for probably, I don't even know, 12 years, 13 years, we haven't had cable. But if you do have cable and you have a sign in, you can actually sign in with your subscription that you have. You can use, you know, Comcast or Optimum. There's so many other ones, Spectrum. They all have sign-ins. You can sign in with your cable subscription, authenticate, and then watch it with your cable subscription. Next, we have movies and TVs on the uh, movies and TV on the Roku channel. So these are all live streaming. You have uh, BT, Pluto TV, Cinevault. Uh, just keeps on going. And these are these are just channels that have movies on there. And I have to say, there's some really good television here. Movies more current and even older movies, very nostalgic movies, all very good options. Uh, I was watching some this morning. This is live, live sports via subscription. So if you have a Fubo or Paramount Plus, which is an awesome channel, or if you have NBC Sports, you can sign in with all of those. Then they also have free sports channels. You can choose from your favorite sport network and sign in as well. Somewhere I saw yes, but Yankee Entertainment, I don't see it here. And then there's also free live sports. So there's kind of 
all live. I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get a copyright, but Stadium is a really big uh, channel, and also Fubo Sports is also getting very uh, popular. You can get national news here. Uh, these are all on the Roku Live channel as well. Uh, some of these are delayed, so it's content that's recent, but maybe not perfectly up to date. Uh, Peacock was cool as well. Uh, this is, again, same thing, all your news and weather from the Roku channel. You also have local news. If you wanted to subscribe to any of these, you could do that. Even a kids section as well. Newly added channels, so you can even, uh, let me turn this down and we'll play it. Movies and TV goes right into Roku Live. There's a channel for Roku TV and movies. What is this one we're watching? The dis different strokes? Maybe. Oh, and they give you directions right up top there. So that is the live TV zone. Take me to the Roku channel. So really you can get to the same thing here, uh, but it also gives you the movies that they have that are not live, that are not live, that are just on here that they change monthly. Uh, Third Rock from the Sun, that's a classic. Steve Wilco's like a show on TV. Ninth Gate, Johnny Depp. So they have a little bit of everything here. Okay, now on to the Roku Live favorites. We'll go back into the Roku channel and we have the Live Channel Guide, which we can just go right into. Hit OK. And we have all of our channels here, all the way up. I'm going to start at the beginning. And uh, traditionally, you would just kind of go through or, you know, watch, watch one channel. If you wanted to go up a channel, you would just press up on your remote control. But now when we hit the left button and we go back, you have this option over here and you see it pops up star for option asterisk for option. So we'll just go ahead and hit that and we see some more channel options here. We can hide the channel from the list. We can unfavorite it. I've already favorited it. Uh, Roku channel movies and TV just because it's constant refreshing of new content. So I like to keep that on there. And uh, we can filter them and we can manage the channels. It'll give you a whole list and I've already added some. So you would go through here and find which channels you like. Maybe you like Sh Shumo, is that how you pronounce that? Shumo, Exmo, Exumo. Uh, or you could go to Cinevault if you like Westerns and you can select it by hitting the OK button. Really just add the ones you like. I've added uh, 80s movies from Cinevault. I've added uh, Shumo free movies. Heartland, I just added as like a wild card. I don't even know what it is, but it's movies. Just trying out different ones. Uh, and then there's a favorite. It's like uh, f if you like food food and uh, cooking channels, you have Bon Appetit, America's Test Kitchen, Tiny House Nation. You even have This Old House and This Old House Classic with Bob Vila. And then there's some more Design Network, BBC Home. There's even a Bob Ross channel. And uh, it previews it. So when you select it, it actually comes up and it shows you Bob Ross painting. Uh, Jack Hanna is very nostalgic. We used to watch that on Saturday morning television. While we're having breakfast, we could see the uh, Ohio Zoo and all the places that Jack Hanna is going to. Oh, what happened? Let me go back. So I've added this to my favorites as well. And then they also have music channels with uh, it had Rot Rotten Tomatoes TV and the Pet Collective just because we love our dudes so much. Pet Collective is a bunch of viral videos and uh, it's really fun. I highly recommend Pet Collective. Not just dogs, there's also goats and snakes and frogs and llamas, a whole bunch of stuff. Dust is like a science fiction-y channel. There's also uh, Film Rise Sci-Fi, which I will add. And it's that easy, you just click okay and go to it. And then down below you even have music channels that have I think they're called like Loop. Let's see, yeah, we're getting to them now. Oh, they have iHeartRadio, The Beat, and then they also have Loop, where you can choose Loop Hottest, and it'll actually put the video like back in the day when you had MTV, you could watch that. This is uh, iHeart 90s, Loop 90s. Uh, it's just fun to discover all the different things you can watch on the Roku channel. I don't know what this is, some music video. Well, we go back, go into the options now. When you have your channels, for a minute I was sitting there and I was thinking, uh, how do I get to the channel? I just had it set to all channels. So you will 
create your favorites and then you wonder like, why can't I go to my favorites now? You actually have to go to this column here where all the channels are. You hit the star button and then you have to filter. You can filter by recent or you can filter by favorites. So I'm going to choose favorites and then there it is. All of the channels that I chose where I can watch live without all the other stuff that I may not watch and have to scroll through. So I have like 10 or 12 channels that I like. Yeah. Dennis the Menace, Shumo TV, Free Movies, Heartland, Taste Made, America's Te like right here. Just kind of go right in there and, and, and I got your guide and you're not filled with all these other channels that you might not watch. So that's really cool. But you have to be in this kind of this column here all the way to the left. So when you're on there, scroll to the left till you get to the actual channel column where the channels are listed and then just hit the little asterisk for the options. You can also go to recents too. I shouldn't have everything because I kind of went to everything. Sports Grid, got some vlogs, Canadian News, Carol Burnett Show, all very cool. Magellan Now, pretty cool. Kind of like a travel channel. Maybe I'll add that. Favorite. Boom. That easy. Okay. So that is how to add a favorite, how to filter the favorites, how to manage your channels, how to change your uh, lineup. You can also, you can also remove channels out of here. You can hide them. So like, let's see, I don't think I would watch. Let's find something. Yo Gabba Gabba is not really for me. I'll just take that out, hit okay. And now I won't see that in there. Let me go to my, let me filter by all channels. I should not see Yo Gabba Gabba. So if you want to remove all these channels, you don't watch and whatever's left, you can do that. Should be here. It's gone. So I can go back in. I can manage, I can edit the channel lineup and I can go down and find it and re-edit it. Oh, there it is. 409. So now if I go here and I go back, there it is. And I can go and hide it, hide this channel. See, there's just so many channels here that you'd be scrolling all day if you didn't pick your favorites. See? It's gone. It's not in there. So actually I would remove all of those kitty type television shows or oh, the Lego channel. I might actually keep battery pop, all these things, kids, bop, slug, Terra, kids, Pang, Zumu, baby shark TV, the wiggles. I remove them all and now they're gone. So that's one way. Also, instead of creating favorites, you can just edit anything, you know, you're not going to watch, just take it out. And then it'll make it a little easier, but uh, I like the option of just having an all channels available and then being able to filter to go to my favorites. I think that's the way to go. So yeah, Roku channel, Roku live TV channel is getting better every day. I'll probably watch more of it. Uh, I really enjoy all the different things they have here. There's a lot of variety now with Roku being the number one streaming platform out there. They're adding more, they're adding, they have deals going through for new movies, original content, original movies that they're going to add. And then this year and beyond, we're going to start seeing all of that. So that's that easy. Just go down live TV and we're in the zone. We have all these options. The pet collective is the best though. It's just awesome. Oh yeah. And also it tells you to press left for the guide. So you can go right into the guide. It's really seamless. It works really well. Check it out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Look at this mouse. What's this mouse doing? Where's that a rat? That's a rat. He's trying to hide something in his owner's shirt. Wow. Huh? It's like a nesting. Oh, you have a cat. A cat licking a rat. That's why this channel is the best. 
What is happening here? I don't understand. It's like a rat in like a curtain that's walking itself. Um, is this Wolverine hedgehog? What is this thing? <laughs> really long claws. What's that, Ellie? Oh, he's resting. <laughs> Hello. Is that a rabbit? Is the pet collective on the Roku Live? Oh, haha. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> oh, we got some uh, guinea pigs. They all have their own little carrot. Oh, I think I've seen this one. Yeah, I've seen this one. Mouse, field mouse, pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> he's not doing it right. <laughs> oh, is that a gerbil? Gerbil riding a tricycle. That's gonna do it for the couple features that Roku added a couple weeks ago. You got favorites and you have the live TV zone. So there's even more features uh, around live streaming. You don't want to be on camera. I think this dude had enough. So with that, I'm going to leave you guys and say thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye dudes.